YouTube, what is up? I am Ace, and today I'm going to share with you the top Google searches for the iPhone 13 how-to. So I went on to Google, and I typed in iPhone 13 how-to, and these were the top searches. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, answer these questions for you. So what do you say? Let's get into it. Now, one of the top questions is how to close apps, um, and I do believe in uh, a couple down, it's how to open apps, or what is it, uh, close open apps. So this is kind of a like a twofer. What you'll need to do is, okay, let's say you go into an app, and you know it pops up. All you gotta do is just about from the bottom with your finger, you can just about halfway, or about a quarter of the way, you have like a multi-selector and this will show all your current open apps and then all you have to do to close them is just to swipe up swipe up and it closes swipe up and it closes now i know with like android phones like with my pixel 6 you could swipe up and do the same thing and close it but sometimes it wouldn't close the app all the way you'd actually have to go into the settings and force close the app with the iphones you swipe up and it force closes it. And then as you can tell, when you go to reopen it, it reloads the page. Now the next question is how to take screenshots. Screenshots are, uh, there's two ways to go about this. The manual, the, the easier way is to, is the volume up and the power button. You just hit those at the same time and you take a screenshot. And you can go into that screenshot and you can edit it or you can delete it. Um, or if you you know definitely want to keep it, you can just take the screenshot and then swipe it off to the side. And then it'll be there. It'll be there. It'll be here in your photos album. So another way to do a screenshot is through accessibilities. If you go into the settings and go to accessibilities and then go to the physical and motor uh, section and under touch, uh, scroll down to the bottom and then go to the back tap section. And you can, what this will do, there's a double tap and a triple tap. And what this will do is you can tap the back of your phone two to three times to do a screenshot. Not only screenshots, but you can do an app switcher, you can turn on the camera, control center, turn on the flashlight, and so on. But here with screenshots, you just tap it to highlight it, and then go back, and then, then you double tap on the back, and it takes a screenshot. Now, the next question is how to turn off your iPhone 13. And there's a couple of ways uh, to go about that. And there's also how to restart. There's another question on how to restart. It's all essentially the same, uh, turning off. Um, there's no like, uh, like on a Windows laptop or something like that where you go restart and, and it brings it up, you know, it turns off and then boots up itself. There, it's, you can just turn off the iPhone from, you know, what I've found. Um, but there's different ways to go about doing that. Uh, one way is just like with the screenshot, instead of just, you know, pressing real quick and taking the screenshot, what you would do is with the volume up and the sleep to wake button is you would hold those two down and then it'll give a little haptic feedback and you can slide to power off. This is also where you can do the emergency SOS and medical ID and all of that. Another option uh, to turn it off, this one, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, you have to hit your volume up, your volume down, and then hold the sleep to wake button. And that just gives the power option. It doesn't give the emergency contact, you know, or the SOS or, you know, medical and, uh, emergency stuff. It doesn't, but it, you can just, you just slide it and power it off. And the final way is you can go into your settings and go down into general, scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to shut down. Another question on the iPhone 13 is the battery percentage, how to show the battery percentage. When looking, when I was looking at this, I'm thinking a lot of people are asking, you know, how do I get my battery percentage up here in the top right corner? Well, I'm sorry, you, you can't. Um, but there are a couple of ways 
to see what your battery percentage is, just uh, swipe down and it right here, uh, it'll have your battery percentage. Also, you can add a widget to where you swipe to the right. And I have mine set up to where it shows my phone, my watch, and then, you know, it'll have the AirPods, you know, if you have AirPods connected um, or any other device uh, connected. Now to add the widget, if you want to add the battery widget, just um, off in an empty space, not actually on a widget or anything like that, or even from your home screen, find an empty space and then just long press and hold down. Then you'll have a uh, plus button here at the uh, top left. And all you got to do is just hit that and then scroll through and there's your battery and you can, you know, there's a couple of different widgets that you can use to check battery percentages. Now, the next question that came up was how to use uh, your iPhone 13 and there's multiple ways to use it. You can make calls, you can text, you can email, you can play games that's that's a, you know on how to completely use i'm showing you some some of the things that you can use your iphone 13 for turn off the flashlight uh, i guess for one it would have to be turned on now i do a lot of accidental touches off of the home screen for my camera and uh for the flashlight but there it, there is the flashlight button here if you long press there It'll turn on your flashlight and then you long press again and hold it and it'll turn it off maybe. Yeah. And it gives a little haptic feedback. You probably don't, you don't really have to press it all that hard. Another way that I like to use the flashlight is if you go from the top right here and you add uh, to your little control center here, the flashlight, if I'm not mistaken, the default, it does have the, on the control center, it has the flashlight. Um, if you hold that down, you can turn it on and uh, it's got a slider bar and the slider bar lets you increase how much, you know, light you actually want to give your flashlight, which is really nice. And it, it remembers, you know, how bright you want it. Like for in the middle of the night, if you're, you know, looking for something in your bedroom and you don't want to, you know, upset the children or, you know, wake the children up or your significant other or what have you. You know, it's, it's, it's really beneficial to be able to control the flashlight. Now, if you don't have the uh, flashlight on your control center here, that's really simple. You just go into the settings here into uh, control center and like I have it added here. Um, let's say it's not. So let's say I removed it and then it moves down here and then you just hit the find the flashlight you know, hit the little uh, plus button. And then also too, what you can do is you can arrange, you know, the order. Like I had the flashlight, you know, there prominent in the beginning is just, uh, you know, hold this little slider here on the right and then just move it on to wherever you want to do that. And you can do that, you know, with all the control centers, um, little widgets, you know, whatever the little buttons and you can rearrange it and set it up to however, you know, to however you want. Kids, if you like this video, drop me a like and hey, while you're at it, why don't you sub to the channel for more and hit that bell notification so you know when the latest and greatest comes out. And YouTube, as always, be safe, be kind, peace and love.